my friends, it is time to introduce to you some new stamp sets, which I'm very excited about. And as I always say every single time, oh, I don't know which one to show you. I don't know which one to show you. Well, this one is kind of really important to me. So I'm going to share this one first. And this is not even a real one. So why is that even in my stack? And this is not either. These are. <laughs> okay. So this one is really important. So I'm going to share this one for you with you first. It is called Ribbon for Cure. And the first thing you're going to notice is that it's pink, right? It looks very, very pink. Well, this is a very special limited edition at the Stamps of Life. This is all about, kind. Of, it's Breast Cancer Month coming up pretty soon in October. And I thought that it would be really fun to release a cancer set. Now, all of us, unfortunately, are we know someone that is that is um, maybe passed away from cancer or is um, fighting cancer right now or has beat cancer but everyone we all know someone that has been touched by cancer or maybe we've been touched by cancer and so i wanted to design the stamp set i have to let you know right off the bat all profits from this stamp set are being um, donated to the susan g komen foundation all profits so uh this is a special set it's pink which is very exciting it's a little different and when you kind of get it at home i want you to know it is a different resin because obviously it's a pink it's a different resin it's not like we just added food coloring or something so it is a little different the first thing you'll notice is the smell it smells a little different it almost it's funny it almost smells minty to me which doesn't make sense but when you get it at home you'll you'll notice the difference but it stamps just as beautifully it's um actually the resin that they use to make um, um, that they use for printing like on paper bags like at McDonald's or something like that this is what how this is how they really do it this is the pink resin that they use so I wanted to use something special for this limited edition set so it's kind of fun eventually we'll have it in clear but right now it's gonna be in pink because it's limited edition and that's very exciting and we have dyes that match this that are currently available also I don't think I have those on my desk how how awful is that? But there are, there's a ribbon that is this size as well as a ribbon that is this size. So you can die cut them and it's available now also. Yay. And again, all profits from the die set, the ribbon die set will go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. I just think that's something that, you know, would be awesome to do. And, and that's why I want to do it. But I just want you to know I'm not making money off of off of this okay i want you to know that right off the bat it's never about that so it's all about this okay so that's that one set and i have tons of samples to share with you my design team's amazing and don't forget ribbons can be used for a lot of different things autism awareness i mean every, every uh a lot of different things have the ribbon idea so it's not just breast cancer it's not just women cancer it it's it, it's everything every kind of everything any kind of ribbon okay now the next one is this is a fun one this one coordinates with our club set it is insides for snails which is such a silly name i don't know why i come up with these silly names insides for snails but it coordinates with our snails to me our snails to mail stamp set so there we go there's the two so of course we have a pattern because you know i love to do my patterns my two color stamping and things like that and this one has a lot more fun different wording so it says slow slow down and just and then for the inside of the card you can say enjoy i'm late i'm late and then the next one is i'm for a very important date sending you snail mail wishes i feel like a slug so if you don't use the shell which is kind of funny sorry i'm late see ya later happy birthday wishes so really fun set and i have great examples from my team now here's another set which is really really fun and this is pumpkins to cut now it's going to look a little familiar to you because thanks to fall looks a little similar doesn't doesn't it but this pumpkin here outline is a little lighter than this one this one's a little darker and same with this one this one's a little darker than this one same pumpkins though so if you buy this set and you have this one already these patterns will still fit in this one so you'll notice this one doesn't have a solid because the solids over here the little one doesn't have a solid because the solids over here but I just needed more patterns I was making something not that long ago and I needed more patterns for my pumpkin so I said I need to have another set so this one just says happy harvest and happy Halloween and it's lots and lots of fun so imagine the possibilities on that one so I have great of course examples to share with you so that's one two three three new stamp sets and I have tons of examples to share with you ready oh and I also wanted to notice before I go into my examples 
club members, this month you got a free mini stamp set that I didn't even talk about in the last video. It's a cute little one. It just has a little flower that matches one of my Sizzix flowers and just says happy birthday, thanks, and then a little frame. Now the little frame and the thanks are separate stamps. It's two different stamps. Now the reason why I wanted to share this with you is because it also coordinates with this framelit stamp set. I'm sorry, framelit uh, dies. So what you can do is you can stamp this and then use these dies to cut it out. So you know me, I always want everything to match. Everything has to go together. Everything has to coordinate. That way you'll use it more and you'll enjoy it more. So just a heads up on that, the mini free stamp set that you got as a club member coordinates with this framelit set, okay? And if you wanna know what the real name of this one is called, it's labels ornate number four. Okay, just a heads up. Okay, examples, examples, yay! Okay, this one, oh, it doesn't say who made it. I think this one might be Tiffany. I hope I'm giving credit to the right person. But I love how she just used the actual patterns itself. She did not use, uh, you know, the outline stamp instead. So that's really fun. Let's see, here we go. Oh, I love this one. I absolutely, Anna, Anna, I love this one. I feel like a slug. Is that the cutest you've ever seen in your life or what? And she used those little wiggly eyes. I just love, she used our jar dye, just adorable. I feel like a slug, I love it. Yeah, this one's by Beverly, happy birthday wishes. I feel like a slug again, sorry I'm late. And this time she has the slug kind of hanging out from behind, which I think is so adorable. This one is by Anna and this is a beautiful ribbon and it just says cute from a little ta tiny tags from mini tags to cut, I love you. Isn't that beautiful with that button right there? Now this one's also by Anna. Anna uh, die cut our onesie and used the negative piece and then made the little tiny mini ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? And we're gonna move on. We're not looking at those yet. This is a cute one. This is using the chevron and oh, both at the same time. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Who made this one? Laura Williams tricked me on this one. She stamped the chevron and the dotted. Look at that. She stamped this one and this one to create this pattern. Genius, a little too smart for me on that one. That was fancy. Here's one from Anna and she used the chevron, which I love and the cute, the little happy Halloween from the mini tags to cut, adorable. And this one is by Anna also, just so simple. She just stamped it directly onto pattern paper and she's done, so easy. Now Anna really likes Halloween and you can tell because here's another one by Anna and she used our zigzag circle which many of you already have and then just uh, the pumpkin outline on pattern paper. So simple. Now here's a beautiful one. This one's by Anna and I love how she made her own background stamp on this one. See how she just used the hope, fight like a girl, uh, be strong, praying for you because all these different words we have courage, hope, so proud of you, you will beat this, cancer stinks, fight like a girl, I am praying for you, how can I help, be strong. So she used all of those on the background, it just looks fabulous. And then the little butterflies are from our Get Well stamp set. Here's another one from Anna, again, same idea, just different colors, and then she used the hearts instead of the butterflies. Who would have thought, they, don't, they look totally different, don't they, isn't that fabulous, I love that. Now this one is by Beverly and she used our stamp set that says I'm um, calm to keep. Keep calm and fight like a girl. I love it, I love it. And then she just stamped the bottoms down there at the bottom. Now here is a beautiful one. This one's by Kelly Hole, a new design team member. And I love how she just stamped these pump pumpkins but on their sides, which is so much fun. I told you I had a lot of examples. I have even more. This one's also by Kelly Hole. Again, three little pumpkins ready to go. And this one's again by Kelly Hall. I love how she did the chevron. She masked this. She stamped the one in front first, masked it, and then stamped the two green in the back. I love it. Now this one is by Kelly Hall, and I like how she did that. She used little tiles up at the top and it just says fight like a girl with a cute little ribbon. And this one's by Kelly Hall. Again, she just cut out that little um, pumpkin and it's ready to go. Ooh, now this one is fancy wancy. This one has the ribbon, which is so fantastic. She stamped it onto uh, pattern paper, die cut it, and then the top one, I know it's hard to see, but the top ribbon, this extra layer here, she hand cut that and popped it up so it would just be a little 3D, which I love. Oh, so simple yet effective. This one's by Kelly Hull. She just stamped that be strong onto a die cut and added some little doodads, so pretty. 
I love this one. I love this. this one's by Kelly and I love this one because that's what I designed the hope to do so it could be on the ribbon itself and she just did cancer stinks, cancer stinks, cancer stinks all the way to make her background paper. I love it. Now this is a cute one using those little pattern uh, snails. Sorry I'm late and look at this little guy's late. I love it. And here's a snap, uh, snail. Slow down and just enjoy. Oh, this one's adorable. Sorry I'm late, I feel like a slug. And this one is by Kelly Hull. And last but not least, this cute little one, another one by Kelly Hall. See you later. And she used those cute little patterns. So club members, don't forget, every three stamp sets you purchase, you get a storage sheet to store your stamps in. And if you're not a club member, consider joining our club. You get freebies, you get extras, you get discounts, and lots and lots of fun stuff. Oh, and you would have gotten that mini little stamp set for free in your club shipment if you would have joined. Every couple months, we like to send out little freebies and stuff like that. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the subscribe button so you're notified every time we release a brand new video. That's very important. You always want to be kept up to date. We release videos on YouTube before we even put them on the blog or put them on the website. So you'll always be the first to know if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.